show floor at CES 2011. I love tablets and Motorola's got a great one. The Zune, right there behind me, actually won CES Best in Show. It's a beautiful tablet. It's going to be running on uh, Honeycomb, so the new Android 3.0, so we don't know when it's going to be coming out because it's yet to be, it's yet to be released. But we do get to see how the applications work and how they envision this amazing tablet moving forward. And, I, and you know what? It's pretty good for getting around the net. I agree. So this is the new Motorola Zoom. It's a powerful tablet. It runs uh, dual core. It also has one gigabyte of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal memory. Um, it's got a 10.1 inch display, as you can see here. It's got a front web camera, two megapixels. The back has got a 5 megapixel camera with digital flash. You can see the two speakers that are right here. As far as inputs, HDMI and USB. And just so you know, this is going to be running on Honeycomb. Honeycomb isn't, isn't finalized yet, so we've done with this device, we've preloaded some videos to show you some of the functionality. The first one is the enhanced web browsing. So here's kind of what the home page is going to look like. You've got these scrollable widgets. You don't know, no longer have to open a widget before you use this. You can find your um, search, search right there. Bring up Google. Here's the size of the, uh, the key path. It makes it a lot easier to search. And this is what's due to Honeycomb is you have got multi-tab browsing. So it's much more of a PC-like experience. And quick scrolling. With the combination of the dual core processor and the 3G, this is actually very, very um, typical of the kind of speed that you'll experience with this device. Um, you can bookmark like you normally do, but what's optimized here is this page. So you can actually see all of the, um, all your all your bookmark pages for a quick, easy view and access. And you can also work in something called the incognito mode. So if you want to browse without the history being captured, you can do that here as well. Mm -hmm. So that's the browser. Um, here's the video quality. So again, 10.1 inch display, it's 16.9, so this is theater style, so you actually be able to see the video the way it was meant to be viewed, and HD. So it's pretty amazing. We kind of like to say that it's like taking your plasma off the wall and putting it in your hands. It's much easier to watch movies on this kind of display for uh, long trips. <laughs> So that's the video, and if you want to see a larger one, there's actually one of these plugged into an HDTV over there. Um, we've also got Google Books, so ebooks on here. Motorola Zoom, that's X O O M. Uh huh. So here's the books. You can access Google Books from here. Again, you kind of scroll through the content, what's available. It's got a 3D view, it's, it's a nice, like, very nice, easy flow. Is this going to have LTE on it? Um, it's, it'll be upgradable to 4 LTE. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Great. Um, you can also scroll, you can add a widget here. You can kind of scroll through your um, books this way as well. This is what a page will look like. So you can see, again, it's optimized for the full length of the, of the page. You can flip through the pages. And the other great thing about Google Books is that the, all the content will be stored in the cloud. So regardless of how you access that book later on, whether it's through your phone or your tablet again, it'll know where you left off and it'll go back to that. So it's an uninterrupted experience for you. Here is um, here's YouTube, also optimized specifically for tablet. So here's YouTube, again kind of optimized for, um, for this kind of uh, display. You can add the widget here again, you can kind of um, favorites are most popular, you can kind of click through them quickly, or you can go directly into the app and view the page. You can see there's three columns, it's kind of a 3D view, again you can kind of scroll through it. If you don't find what you're looking for here, you can do a quick search. You can kind of click the click the button for the um, for the keyboard to come back up. And really easy to use because the, the keys are so big. Scroll through till you find what you need. Click it to open it. And here you kind of see it's almost like three separate panes to, to make it easier to navigate through. So here, all the comments and related videos, you can kind of look through those real quickly. You can go over to the other side. You can click through the comments directly about the video. You can click directly on the um, on the video and play that. 
Gmail is also optimized. All the Google services will be optimized specifically with Honeycomb as well. It's also, you know, so it's also a tablet that kind of works hard and not just uh, not just plays hard. You can access Gmail directly from that widget, or you can click on the button. You can see the page again, full view, so everything's a little bit larger and easier to see, easier to manage. Um, it's easier to sort all your content and into folders or to delete multiple. So oftentimes, people um, when they access their Gmail from like their handheld, it's kind of small and it's a little bit more difficult to to manage. So you kind of go through it through it one by one, and then when you get back on your PC, you actually do all the cleaning up here because of the size and the and how easy it is to use you can do all that here and not have to do it twice um, I mean I think with whatever standard with Android so it should it should be yes and uh, maps this is actually my favorite so this is maps 5.0 10.1 inch yep it's a screen resolution about 720p plus 80 or so you can see here with the maps um, they use vector maps so it's a much more fluid experience and you can go all the way down to 3d so you do a search like here I'm just looking at Times Square and as I continue to scroll down you can rotate and you can scroll in and as I continue to get closer it starts to go into a 3d view and if I have a particular street or a location in mind, I can put that in, and it'll take me all the way down to the street level, so I can actually see it in color, and, which is, I think, it's really neat. So that's the map. And the last thing I want to show you is the Google Talk. So I told you earlier we have the webcam right here, which is 2 megapixel. It's so easy to use. Again, you kind of go right into your home page, click on Google Talk, it brings up your contacts, and you know who's got it as well. You click on them, and in a matter of seconds, it opens up and you're chatting. Hopefully your hair's done, you look good. <laughs>